Welcome back, my legends. Today, we're going to talk about the new teaser in Apex Legends Twitter called Searching the Stars. Now, we got this hint with a lot of Easter eggs and references towards the next upcoming legend. So first, I'm going to point out all the little fun Easter eggs that have a little bit of meaning towards the next legend's personality. But if you're not interested in that, then I'll leave a timestamp in the video. Also, big shout out to Shug and his Discord team for finding a lot of these Easter eggs. So let's begin. We'll start with the picture on the top right. The first Easter egg is clearly the Nessie plushie. So cute but the thing that's very interesting are the books besides it and these books are called land of the luster and also my hero academia and if you look at the bottom you can clearly see death note books now this is very important because these books are japanese based novels or manga and what makes this so interesting is that chad grenier the game director of respawn said that he thinks that the next legend is going to be really popular with japanese people now it's very clear that the next legend might be japanese and this will make a whole lot of sense because we know that they've been pushing really hard on the Japan market because of gaming reasons and they just recently released Apex Legends on the Nintendo Switch so it all this together it makes sense that the next legend might be Japanese based so now we head to the right side of the desk where we see three more books actually four but what these books are interesting because one of them is for B for Bandetta the other one is Saga and the other one is DC Comics the new 52 those are the easter eggs and in the middle we see the Apex Overtime comic that's going to be released later on this month I think and and so these are kind of the book easter eggs now let's get to the easter eggs that are important lore wise now the first thing i want to point out is the window now you can see like rock debris floating around in space now first i thought maybe this is just an asteroid belt but then people told me that this is actually the debris from typhoon now this will all make sense once you connect the other pieces of the easter egg now the next important piece we got to see is this letter right here with the words k s r b and k crossed out now somebody actually pointed out that these are actual code names for Kuben Blisk, Sloan, Recta, Viper, and Kane, and the A with a question mark stands for Ash. Now, you're probably wondering what does this character want to do with the Apex Predators? Now, the one thing that's kind of confusing is Kuben Bliss being crossed out because apparently in their mind, they think they're dead. Now, technically, this is taking place in the year 2731. Now, this is where there's kind of a plot hole here because we know Kuben Bliss was considered missing for about a year, but that statement was made in the year 2732 which would have mean that in the year 2732 he was gone for just about a year so i don't know if it's just a mess up in time that the writers forgot or maybe it's something happened that this person thought that kuvin was eliminated but they're still looking for ash now why would they be looking for ash well my legends lore wise after the explosion of typhoon vincent dynamics actually rebuilt ash and what ash was doing is that she was trying to find her memories and she thought that her memories could be found in the remnant fleet now this is all very interesting meaning that this person in some way shape or form is connected to ash now what makes this very interesting is that this would explain what happened in the season 6 comics when kuvin bliss said that i made contact with an old friend of yours now at first i thought they meant horizon but in the books it's very clear that kuvin was not talking about her because time has passed where they could have easily made contact with her if they wanted to but they didn't meaning that there's a good chance that they were talking about this character gonna be the next legend and what's interesting about this is that in the sticky note we have like a picture that looks like Branthium. and also in the map somebody was able to put the world's edge map and they noticed that it actually fits very perfectly and they have a big circle in the center where the harvester is now um tom said that the harvester was gonna play a big role in the story and beyond but apparently that never happened because of reasons but now it's gonna come into play apparently and i think this is what what he meant and so somehow Branthium, this new character and ash are all connected and we know one thing is that this new character might be from angel city because the statue on their desk is the same statue that could be found in angel city that was heavily influenced by hammond robotics in the imc and the last easter egg i guess is the candy so this next character is going to have a real sweet tooth for anything candy related so in the middle of editing this video i changed the ending because apex just released a new 
teaser that says seeding the soil and as you can see right here this new character is eating apex noodles and you can see they're using chopsticks so it's almost confirmed that they're going to be of asian descent and as you can see it looks like they just moved into a new house and what's very interesting about this is that people were pointing out that this little thing in the it's actually some kind of orn where somebody that died recently you put their ashes in and so this will explain why they have a gun in the ship because it looks like they've been hunting down ash because ash might have killed somebody that was very close to them it's not the first time she's done that but yeah my legends that will kind of do it for this episode i'm gonna wait for more information i'll see you all next time peace Baby